Welcome to Pink Grade. Today we are going to learn how to do long division. It's like a tool. No, no, not this kind of tool. Well, long division is a step-by-step -step way to divide big numbers into smaller equal groups. If you've ever asked yourself how to divide something like 96 by 3, then this lesson will definitely show you exactly how. Let's begin. We want to divide 48 by 2. So as always, we place the number 2 outside the division box and the number 48 inside. Now we begin with the first digit, which is 4. We ask, how many times does 2 go into 4? Well, if you know your multiplication fact, then you know exactly that the answer is 2 because 2 times 2 equals 4. We write the number 2 at the top, then we multiply 2 times 2, which equals 4. Then we subtract. 4 minus 4 equals 0. Now here comes the tricky part. At first glance, you might think we have to ask, how many times does 2 go into 8? But this time, we have to bring down instead. Now we bring down the next digit, which is 8. We ask, how many times does 2 go into 8? The answer is 4, because 2 times 4 equals 8. Subtract again. 8 minus 8 equals 0. Now, there are no digits left to bring down and no remainder. So the answer is 24. 48 divided by 2 equals 24. Notice how we only focused on one digit at a time. That is the secret of long division. That is okay. That is okay, here is another one. We want to divide 96 by 3. This one look familiar, right? Place the number 3 outside and 96 inside. Start with the first digit 9. Ask, how many times does 3 go into 9? That is 3 times, we write the number 3 at the top because 3 times 3 equals 9. Subtract 9 minus 9 equals 0. Now bring down the next digit 6. How many times does 3 go into 6? That is 2 times because 3 times 2 equals 6. Subtract 6 minus 6 equals 0. Nothing left. So the answer is 32. 96 divided by 3 equals 32. Even though the number was bigger, we handled it the same way one digit at a time. Long division always follows the same steps. Example 3. 22 divided by 4. This time, we will see a remainder. We want to divide 22 by 4. Place the number 4 outside and 22 inside. Ask, how many times does 4 go into 22? Let's try a few options. 4 times 4 equals 16. 4 times 5 equals 20. 4 times 6 equals 24, but that's too much. So we use 5. We write the number 5 at the top because 4 times 5 equals 20. Now subtract 22 minus 20 equals 2. There are no more digits to bring down. That left over 2 is our remainder. So the answer is 5 remainder 2. That means 4 goes into 22 5 times with 2 left over. Always check that your remainder is less than the number you are dividing by. That shows your answer is correct. Now let's try one more example with a remainder. We want to divide 29 by 6. As always, we ask how many times does 6 go into 29? I think we have to try few guesses. 6 times 4 equals 24. Well, that sound promising, but let's keep going. 6 times 5 equals 30, that's too much. Oops. So we go with 4, we write the number 4 at the top, because 4 times 6 is 24. Now subtract 29 minus 24 equals 5. That 5 is our remainder. So we say 4 remainder 5, 6 goes into 29 4 times, with 5 left over. If you still have a number left over and nothing else to bring down, that number becomes your remainder. Thank you for learning with Pink Grade. Keep practicing and always remember, stay focused and stay pink.